Welcome to today's video. I'm Josh Way of Dynamic Photo Works. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite photo shoots. Alright, so today I want to be taking you, the viewer, through a journey of some of my favorite shoots I've had great opportunities to be on. The one we're going to talk about today involves three Aston Martins, a sunrise, and an airport. So let's set the scene. This shoot took place a couple of years ago, actually like five years ago or more. Um, it involved my good friend Scott Gabrick, who at the time was a salesman at a local luxury car dealership called Maury's Luxury Auto, who sold a number of different marks, but the main one that he loved especially was Aston Martin. Aston Martin is, as you know, a very well-known and very gorgeous car manufacturer. They are known for front-engine, V12, true grand touring gorgeous cars. Scott, at the time, owned a Aston Martin Vantage V12 manual transmission car, which was gorgeous. And I was always talking to him about putting a shoot together with that car. And after enough talks with him and coordinating some ideas and throwing around wish lists, we were able to coordinate a really cool shoot. So we started talking about getting three Aston Martins together and getting out for a sunrise shoot. Um, we kept talking, we kept talking, and we're going to use uh, uh, Scott's car, we're going to use a dealer car, and he had a customer that had a very cool, very rare spec Aston Martin Vantage that we wanted to shoot. So all three cars were kind of aligned, and now the choice was where to shoot. Um, I knew I wanted to do it at sunrise because golden hour is awesome, and the other cool thought that popped into our heads was an airport. The reason was an airport popped into our heads because the owner of the, of the very special Aston Martin that we were shooting is owned by a pilot. And that pilot had access to an airport. He actually owned a hangar at a local airport. So that became our base camp for our photo shoot. But we're not there yet. So uh, I knew this was going to be a pretty special shoot. And I wanted to capture it beautifully with photography, obviously. But being that it's going to be literally three gorgeous Aston Martins on an airport at sunrise, I wanted to capture it on video as well. So I reached out to my good friend Lincoln Poole, who is a videographer and a great shooter, and I had him come along to capture behind the scenes of me and footage of the cars themselves, and it worked out great. shooting some Astons. This is going to be my own shoot, uh, my own doing, but can't take up, or I can't let that opportunity go. We're on, uh, on an airport here in Minneapolis and we're going to make uh, some great images. Now came the morning of the shoot finally. I've convinced all these guys to get out of bed at dark 30. I don't even remember how early it was. And it was also quite cold, which is fun for real wheel drive V12s, but we get out there, we meet all together at Mori's Luxury Auto, and we all head up to the airport. Um, the guy, the, the, the pilot friend connection guy lets us in the gates. We get to kind of like stage up by his hangar, check out his cool plane. And he himself has a very cool China Gray Aston Martin V12 custom Q department car. The Q department is a customization department of Aston Martin where they do all the custom tailoring for the entire Aston Martin brand. If you order a new Aston Martin and you want all these custom tailoring options, it goes through their Q department, which is obviously based on the 007 Q department of the people who come up with all the crazy, you know, watch, trick watches and stuff for James Bond. So that's really cool. And they are the ones that put the finishing touches on this guy's car. And the color was just the beginning. The color itself was called China Gray. It's this gorgeous flat gray, 
gloss paint, and it was paired with very red and very cool carbon fiber accents. Everything that wasn't painted exterior was this red carbon fiber that it just was astonishing. So getting to photograph that car um, by itself is cool. And now we've got two other gorgeous Aston Martins as well. So we headed out onto the taxiway of the runway. It's uh, still, the sun is still below the horizon. The sky is starting to gradiate beautifully over us. And the way that the light hit these cars, it was just amazing. Um, we were able to have about 20 minutes, 30 minutes on the taxiway area with no interruption and plenty of time to get some great shots. Now, a lot of these shots, I only had, um, I only had enough time to just kind of shoot a couple of strobe pops to fill in some shadow areas, but we had enough time to get a good handful of shots, different arrangements. One of my favorite shots we got was I lined up the China Gray car and the Vanquish together and right at that moment, a plane off of the other runway took off and I was able to capture the, the plane right next to, well, in frame over our, over our scene. And that is like, for me, that's really cool because I am in love with planes. They're a second love for me uh, from cars. And uh, anytime you get to mix those two types of machines together, in my opinion, is pretty special as well as being able to capture it with the sunrise kind of coming up behind these hangars there's sort of a mist in the air hovering above the ground it was just beautiful it was such a memorable moment for me as a photographer uh, on set and one that I won't ever forget we shot a few more shots of different cars but one of the next memorable moments was uh, as the Sun finally came up over the horizon that sunlight was hitting that China gray car I walked up to it and the red carbon fiber now is like glowing. The sun hits those we the weave of the carbon fiber. I mean, it's like like that. And the sunlight hits it, and it's just it's gorgeous. Um, being able to capture that on vi on photo is is not always easy because some of this stuff is just difficult to capture. But when that sunlight hit it at such a low angle, it just popped really nicely. And um, yeah, bravo, bravo, Aston Martin. That was such a such a cool build and I was thrilled to be able to photograph it. So shoots like this obviously don't happen very often. So that's why I wanted to bring Lincoln Pool along to capture this great footage we've been looking at and show more behind the scenes shots of, of my photo shoots. And that's a big plan of what we're gonna be doing on videos ahead here. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We're going to be releasing a video every week either on the driveway breakdown stuff or photo breakdowns kind of like this or shoot breakdowns I just have three categories so i want to take a moment to thank all the people involved in this shoot even though it was just sort of among friends it was still a great opportunity and scott you helped put this thing on with your car your customer's car and the dealer's car very cool thank you very much lincoln you came out with a butt crack of dawn with me and shot this gorgeous video footage uh, for us to now share with the world finally. So thank you very much. And of course, the owner of the China Gray car, you're probably never gonna see this, but if you do, thank you very much. Great opportunity and uh, keep on flying. And that's about it. So moving forward, more videos like this every week, either driveway breakdowns or photo breakdowns or shoot breakdowns. And so subscribe, cause that's what you should do. <laughs>